the first generation of adopters were people that you know just wanted to own their own you know like assets and and just what have just control. I'm sorry. Your stomach My stomach nuts. made such noise that I heard our sound man go. <laughs> sorry. I heard it too. I'm so, I'm so sorry. No, it's totally okay. Just, it got me. Yeah, your stomach went Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Grace, and today we are talking about something Mamrie and I truly know nothing about. It's cryptocurrency. Uh, what is cryptocurrency, and why do I give a I think it has an association. Oh, this is always I'm about to learn you something. This is I'm a claw machine that's going to grab knowledge right now. OK, if you had to try to describe it to someone, uh -huh. what would you say it is? I had a teacher once who mm -hmm. would give us like reward points if we did good things, and then we okay. could like trade them in for stickers. Is that cryptocurrency? Basically, that's my understanding of it, yeah. <laughs> I heard it um, associated with like Beanie Babies. Are we teaching ourselves? Do we need our expert? Maybe we're like just no. now, we let's, need an expert. Let's bring in an expert. Let's do it sooner than later. Come Jackson Finio, get in here! Whee! Thank you. Thanks okay. for joining us, Jackson. Jackson. I want to apologize in advance for how dumb we are at this. Also, you have a, a, what looks like an expensive watch, so I would assume that you know a lot about Bitcoin. Uh, so I'm the CEO of Fund3. Uh -huh. uh, we build algorithms that try to predict crypto prices in the future. That's just a bunch of words. Wait, so you guys try to predict uh, 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 what how Bitcoin is going to be evaluated, like a... Uh, 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 Monetarily? We use like AI machine learning to try to. Nope. Know. I'm out. She kill us all. Hates AI, man. I love Westworld, hate AI. How did you get started in this world? Yeah, because it's a relatively new thing, right? Yeah. And it's fake, right? So I'm an engineer by trade, computer okay. science, uh, studying computer science, working at various jobs. Got introduced to another technology that I'm sure we'll get into later called blockchain. Um, and that led to kind of uh, a lot of aha moments for me and, and uh, the idea that I wanted to explore this space further. Has, have, has all of your education prepared you today for teaching two of the dumbest women on the planet what this, what I think is Mario Brothers money um, yeah, she, thing is? She really thinks you only get Bitcoin by like popping your head into bread. I've literally been jumping in sewers for the last like two months <laughs> trying to get that Bitcoin. <laughs> Let's move to our education spot. Yeah. Jackson, first of all, I hope you don't mind my associate wanted to sit in on this meeting, see if it's something we might want to invest in. I've been thinking about this a lot, and I was wondering, what the f is Bitcoin? <laughs> <laughs> so Bitcoin is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer digital asset powered by blockchain technology. If we could, yeah, breaking down any yeah. concept, I think is the yeah, best is place to start. Yeah, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so first we'll start with blockchain. A blockchain is really simple, it's just a ledger. The nuance with the blockchain is it makes it really easy to tell if a transaction has been altered with and really difficult to actually alter the transaction itself. Okay, I heard that blockchain, like Mamrie's panties, are impenetrable. You cannot- You heard her very correct. <laughs> yeah, so that, and that's kind of the, the, one of the key aspects of crypto okay. generally is the security. It makes it really difficult to go in and alter the history. See, so far I'm liking this. A, because you can't lose Bitcoin and I am the queen of losing wallets. If I had a, a nickel for every time, if I had a Bitcoin for every time I had to go with Mamrie to get a new debit card because she left at the bar the night before, I'd be a billionaire. I'm gonna have to stop you right there though because it is actually, <laughs> it's actually really easy to lose Bitcoin for just the average user at, at this point and that's kind of one of the reasons why um, it's harder to use for the everyday person. When you send a letter, you write somebody's address on it and mm -hmm. then the post office takes it to that address. But you and that address, you need your key to open the door to receive your mail, right? But if you lose your key, you're locked out. In real life, it's really easy to go to locksmith and say, hey, I own this address, I own this home, can I get a new key? I have to get in. But if you lose your lock, if you lose your key in Bitcoin, that's gone forever and you're never gonna be able to get back in. Question, it. are we talking about an actual key? Yeah, so this is this is where we get into cryptography, and I don't know if we wanna go down that route. Wait, before we go down that road. Okay, wait, so my question is, is Bitcoin tangible. Is it monopoly? Like, can I touch it? Can I put it in a wallet? Can Ooh. I make it rain with Bitcoin? Do you use Venmo? 
No, yes. because yeah. I don't trust the government. Yeah. I do because it's I not... like to send friends money and right. then say for doing it. It's a it's a digital representation of of an asset, right? In the same way, like when you're sending and receiving money via Venmo, it's all digital. Mm -hmm. You can kind of withdraw that and then it turns into cash. But with Bitcoin, it's all digital. You can't redeem it for so a physical So like Scrooge thing. McDuck couldn't jump into a pool of Bitcoin. No. Is this the symbol for Bitcoin? It yeah, it's a very poorly drawn symbol, but yeah. It looks yeah, like a just dollar, dollar sign. sign with a B instead. Oh, so you got, We yeah. got really creative. Basic. Do you want to be the first person on a Bitcoin? <gasps> Is there a person on a Bitcoin? I'll vote for you. There's no one on a Bitcoin, and that's it's actually for good reason. Uh, oh. The purpose of Bitcoin is that it's not owned by anyone, right? No one. The the only influence on Bitcoin is the community. We as a, we as a community come to consensus about the rules that govern this network. Decentralized is that the word? It's owned by the community. Exactly. It's, okay. it's decentralized, so everyone <laughs> owns kind of uh, has their own say. We shouldn't trust banks to make all of these financial decisions for us. They're anarchists. We want no. We, we're. Not, you guys, if, if you control what the value is of a Bitcoin, then why does it go so inflate? We don't control the value. The market controls the value, right? This, okay. The market is this kind of a blanket term, right? But it's just a market is any place where people congregate and buy and sell things. Who decides how much a tomato is? Who does? No, it's just <laughs> supply and demand, right? X amount of tomatoes I are produced to every year. <laughs> And if there's too many tomatoes produced, then the price goes down, right? There's excess supply. Is there a finite amount of Bitcoin in the world? Yes, and you that's- You can't like produce more Bitcoin. Absolutely. It's so like you and us. You and us, me and my, <laughs> all the voices in my head. <laughs> So there's only ever going to be 21 million Bitcoins ever. ever created. Yeah. But what if like everybody wanted to get in on it? Are you guys like, mm, 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 you're not invited? And that's key misconception about Bitcoin is that you have to own a whole Bitcoin. It's divisible down to, you know, 10 to the negative eight. How do you get a Bitcoin? So, so you go to an exchange or a marketplace where you can buy and sell. These Bitcoins. are online, not yeah. physical. Well, I mean, actually there are physical locations where you could go and say, you know, Oh, you own Bitcoin. You know, I I want some. Can I have three? Sounds like and you say, deal. oh well, give yeah. me fifteen grand for you know each Bitcoin. And Bitcoin's then... marijuana. We just found out. Mm. So then, how are people making millions of dollars off of Bitcoin? Thank sure. you. This is what I'd like to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Bitcoin was created a long time ago by saying... Frederick Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually um, in my notes. They don't know who created Bitcoin. Exactly, well, but that's... that's that's kind of a key aspect, right? It's not owned by anyone. So should we even know who created it? This Fancy. guy, this kind of anonymous person who or group of people were, you know, kind of published a white paper, kind of the the original. Um, called the Constitution of Bitcoin, right? Mm -hmm. And then after a while, things started progressing. New developers, new engineers started contributing to the project to the point where this person or group of people just kind of stepped away from the project and let it, um, you know, let it develop on its own. Like, how do we all get together and make a decision? Do you guys have like a group text? We couldn't even figure <laughs> out what to get for lunch today. Yeah. If every one of us was a, uh, a separate node in the system, we would each hold a copy of the entire history of Bitcoin, right? All of the transactions that have ever taken place. So if one of us became uh, a bad actor or just, you know, a, a bad How person. Are you? Yeah, we're yeah. already there. <laughs> we he would, read us for Phil. <laughs> The rest of the network would see that you guys are kind of trying to make changes that the rest of us don't agree to, and we would just ignore whatever you're doing. We'd just say, yeah, you can go do whatever you want. We believe in our rules, so we're going to continue over here. And that's just, so that's part of- consensus. Right, and that, it, that's part of the security too, right? If, if you guys, if your nodes get hacked, then we can understand that those nodes are acting differently uh -huh. and kind of just ignore what's going on so in this area. So you shun people. This is very bring it on. And Lord like, of the Flies. This is not a Bitcoinocracy. <laughs> Nick Kirsten Dunn, some Bitcoin. I'd rather be Spider-Man, but I, I can settle for it. Oh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think this can be a long episode. Me too. I think it is. I'm just saying, because I'm fascinated. I have a couple more questions. Please, <laughs> keep them coming. I can't believe you haven't got nothing left. I got YouTube. I don't know what the <laughs> is happening with it. I need a backup plan. Yeah. <laughs> This is the one thing I've actually heard about Bitcoin, is that someone bought a pizza with Bitcoin forever ago, and now that pizza would have been worth like millions of dollars. I don't know how true this is, but it says 10,000 Bitcoin was the first purchase of the pizza, and that was $41. That's a and pricey ass pizza. I hope it was a thin crust Neapolitan in a wood fire oven. What's a Neapolitan pizza? That's an ice cream. <laughs> no, no, no. It's also a type of pizza. It oh, is yeah, actually. we got we'll Okay, a different episode. That 10,000 Bitcoin is worth around 25.8 million. Yeah. Dollars. Uh, mama mia. Have you noticed or has the community noticed any sort of like 
rise in hacking of people's like keys to try and get their information to get into the game. We've actually reinstituted third parties into the system uh, in the form of exchanges and wallet providers. And these third parties are just as uh, vulnerable as a bank. Like if you think about the Wild West, oh. those banks were getting robbed all the time, right? They were putting gold on trains and, and mm -hmm. cowboys riding up and, and stealing yeah. the gold. These, you know, the, the, the banks, these exchanges and wallet providers aren't as secure. That's the Wild, sure. Wild West. You can, there's, there's levels to that security where you can really uh, secure your own assets, but there, it gets more and more technical as you, as you kind of gain more and more ownership of those, of those assets. So you get to basically put on your own security measures? Right, I mean- So I can you, say like, you gotta do this dance to get into my key. I mean, I would love, to, they would never know. It's the true. Macarena. Oh, yeah. I knew it. Yeah. Would you recommend people learning more about Bitcoin and getting into it or would you be like, no, I want it all for myself. Yeah. No one learned anything about it. Good question. Sure. But yeah, you know, I think I, I would really encourage people to just understand more about the financial system as a whole. And if that leads you to cryptocurrency, then, you know, there's plenty of people. We're a very open community that is ready and willing to educate whenever uh, whenever there's interest. Well, I got $20. <laughs> and I'd I'm like for, for you to help me turn into $40 million. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that's how it works. No, yeah. but thank so you so you much for Absolutely. coming and teaching us about it. I know I looked like I'd just been hit by a bus for most of it, but I retained a little. Yeah, but we <laughs> but. can, well, I mean, we can figure out if we've retained a little if he quizzes us. Oh, crap! Ooh. Let's do it! Quiz time! Yeah. Number one, oh, okay. what is a blockchain? Key, it's yeah, a Heath Ledger. Great. I know, I had I, so, I, I so had the mnemonic gate in my head and yeah. then I just was I said, thinking it's the about Joker. It's a knight's tale. Obvious, it's gonna torture us and kill us all, but okay. Who owns Bitcoin? Nobody, the people! Absolutely. Yeah! Perfect. Also Banksy. <laughs> Where do you store crypto? In your wallet. wallet. Your digital wallet. Your in, home. In your the, home address. In the cloud. Yeah, you guys are killing it. Yeah. You owe me $40 million. <laughs> Jackson, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Grace, who do you have a gratitude problem with today? Today, it is kcosley94 on Instagram. They drew this photo of us in our This Might Get signature mouth. Ooh, I love it. We look adorable, and we're both doing the mouth that is the shape of our icon mouth. Inception. Inception, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for making this art, and if you guys wanna be part of Gratitude Problem, tag us on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, all of your social medias, at This Might Get. And subscribe to this YouTube channel, click that bell notification so you know when we upload videos. Spoiler alert, it's Monday through Friday at 3.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, unless we change it. Pay attention, hit that bell. I need to ice my brain after learning yep, so much mm -hmm. of this episode. I didn't learn anything. Cool.